The final presentation will be from Lisis, a Stellantis brand and a subsidiary of FCA Bank. The company was established in 2001, if I'm not mistaken. Today, it's one of the leading leasing companies in Italy, with a continuous expansion across Europe, managing a fleet of more than 400,000 vehicles by the end of this year. And recently, the company also launched a clear new electrification and mobility strategy. And today, their chairman and CEO of FCA Bank, Giacomo Carelli, will share how Lises is co-building tomorrow's corporate mobility in a very sustainable way. Mr. Carelli, welcome. Welcome to the summit. Did Thanks I say us, something Stephen. wrong? You said it right, 100%. Okay, <laughs> thank you very much. So, first of all, thank you for the invitation, and um, it is really a pleasure, it is really a pleasure to be here uh, after such a long period looking at ourselves on the screen. I would say um, today the task is not easy, because how can we make mobility sustainable? Not an easy task, but obviously we are here to try and do it, and possibly together. So the first thing I wanted to uh, uh, mention, I think Stephen has already presented and introduced leases. We started as a B2B contract hire or operational leasing company in Italy. That was back in 2001. At a certain point in time, we said, probably we need to do a little bit more than that because consumer demands and needs vary over time. And therefore, we started with a number of acquisitions uh, of mobility companies short and renter companies in a way that we would become, or we would at least try to become um, a 100% mobility provider from one minute to a lifetime. That's what we like to say. So you see that not only we offer contract hire operational leasing, but many other products uh, that we'll, we'll analyze later on. We are multi-brand, obviously we are Stellantis um, uh, brand, Stellantis company, but we are open uh, uh, for our customer to uh, the different brands of the group and other OEMs. We also uh, are engaged with the dealers, as you can imagine, but we have a large network of brokers and our own stores. Our vision and mission is quite new, or at least has been renewed, and is becoming a leading mobility and rental provider, fostering first innovation and then sustainable mobility. So we put sustainability in our DNA. In order to do uh, what we, we are planning to do, uh, we develop also a physical network of what we call a mobility store. Why would we need mobility store across Europe? We would need mobility store because we think that the logistic support to all the different mobility solution must be physical still. And as you will see, this is the backbone for the proprietary network we have developed across Europe in order to foster electric mobility. So at a leases mobility store, obviously you buy the product online uh, through the digital channels, but at the leases mobility stores, you will find all services ranging from long, medium, short and rental, subscription, car sharing, and many more. So the development of that network is quite relevant uh, because as I said, it is, a, it is a way to foster electric mobility. On top of the 650 mobility store we have today, we're planning to, to reach 1,500 in 2023. We also have a proprietary network of uh, recharging stations, fast recharging stations, so we can provide to our customer electric mobility. We have 1,300 today, 3,000 by the end of 2023, and our commitment by that date is that the short, medium, rental fleet and subscription will be by 70% made up of LEV vehicles. It's not only about um, providing these services, but it's also telling the financial markets that we are there and we are ready to issue green bonds. We have issued one in July, it's been a quite good success with uh, two and a half billion of requests by the investors. We, we issue in the end a ticket of uh, half a billion. But that shows that there is a big market for sustainable bonds or green bonds out there. And obviously, 
the proceeds of that bond will be exclusively used for the purchase of electric vehicles and charging stations. So, this will sound a bit naive or very basic, but in the end, we have to decide what are the pillars for our sustainable mobility and electrification. So the first one is to create new products, new mobility solutions. I think you are all in the industry and you understand that today, to promote this kind of technology, you need a different approach to the customer. We'll see some examples later. Then you need to be very vocal. Uh, you need to state that Electric is cool, is nice, is the new normal, and therefore you need to advertise a lot. A third thing, this is peculiar to us, is probably to try and build your own infrastructure. Many of you said, many of the other speakers say that no, that there's no enough electricity, there's no enough charging station today to meet the ambition of the European Commission. And so we built our own. Then obviously at a certain point in time, this network will become also open to uh, to other players, but in any case, we need it. We need it, otherwise it's impossible uh, to provide a charge car as we stand. And eventually, all of these products we have uh, must be integrated in a single mobility proposition for the customer. So starting from the products, basic things, but very important. Not all OEMs today, for instance, providing their car, a cable or a car or card to recharge. So simple. So. <laughs> Any mobility product of ours has a cable and a card. It seems naive, but it's very important for our customers. And then an app to find where to recharge your vehicle. And then an electric, a free access to our electric infrastructure. Basic things, but believe me, not all manufacturers today provide this with their electric vehicles. So let me show you with this small video. Um, a, customer, a typical customer experience that our electrified mobility stores. So this is building the infrastructure, but this is not enough. The second thing you have to do, and we try to do every day, is creating new solutions, new products. For instance, we see that for sustainable electric mobility, a pay-by-the-mile solution is ideal. So we have many customers willing to pay by the mile, and so lease is miles, uh, including electricity. So this is up and running today in several EU markets, and, and we see it's a great success for this kind of technology. A second thing, probably is quite crazy as an idea, but is to provide unlimited mileage. Unlimited mileage. So products with unlimited mileage. You can drive even a million kilometers if you can, or miles, and, uh, and this is available again, only for electric cars. Or other things like give the car back at no cost, this is be free. Uh, give the car back at no cost after 12 months if you don't like this new technology. So, uh, pure peace of mind. One new product that has been launched is quite successful, is only through Amazon, is a subscription. We see that subscription are really taking, uh, at, a certain, at a certain relevant speed, are really taking the place of traditional uh, contract tire products. We sell this product through Amazon, we call it Car Cloud. It is a subscription where you can choose your cloud, so your basket of cars. Uh, within 48 hours, we are bound at the leases mobility store to deliver you the car you have selected, or we can bring it home if you want for, for a small extra charge. Eventually, you can 
keep the car for as long as you want, one month to 12 months. You can return it at any time, and you can change it even every day. So this is ideal to develop sustainable mobility because customers, first of all, are sharing their vehicles with other users, and uh, they can enter into the electric world um, with very limited cost. We sold almost 20,000 of those around Europe. And on the back of the successful experience of Car Cloud, we develop other solutions like flexible renters for a number of days or months, or Car Box, which is uh, paying a subscription every month, having a vehicle available during a certain number of days during, uh, during the month. So these are all attempts to introduce electric mobility, electric vehicles to the audience. Another attempt has been with the, um, with the electric car sharing. We launched that uh, for Fiat, new Fiat 500 electric in Italy. Uh, we have a good number of users. Uh, I cannot say that is the most profitable product of leases today, but indeed is a very good way to promote electric mobility to our customers. And many of those have been converted then into, uh, into leasing customers. So our ambition, our ambition is to, first of all, make sure that our fleet, by 2025, global fleet, is by 36% electric. But when it comes to the fleet of uh, the short, medium, and subscription, 80% electric. That's why we need this big infrastructure uh, at airport, train station, and city center. We will grow our leases go uh, electric car sharing uh, to France and to Spain, possibly. And we are also partnering with companies providing micromobility. For instance, Helbis. We see there is a great integration of electric vehicles with micromobility devices. So I'm coming to the end. I just want to say that uh, I think we all feel very excited. This is a great transformation of our industry, not only of the in automotive industry, but of everything that is surrounding that industry. And at last, it is something that's going to be good for the planet, good for the world, good for people. And so we are really proud to embrace this challenge. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Carelli. Uh, I'm seeing on the screen that your electric car sharing service, Leases Go, um, is going, you mentioned it, probably to France and to Spain. When? <laughs> when we get the license. No, okay, uh, listen, the, the, the French is, um, is expected to go live beginning of 2022. And in 2022, we should have Spain on board as well. Okay. You are now in, I think, 10 countries, more than 10 countries in Europe? So, Leases is in 12 countries. In today. 12 countries. What will be the 13th one? The 13th one will be somewhere in Europe again. <laughs> will it be the north? It will be a surprise. <laughs> if, yes, and what is the timing that you would love we plan, to launch We plan that? in 22, we plan to grow in 2022. There will be some, some news uh, very soon, and, and, uh, and it will be good news, and, and I think uh, the growth will be, will be in 2022 and, and moving forward. And can we then talk again? I think yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, final question. Do you drive an electric vehicle yourself? Yes. From yes. the Stellantis group, I yes, can imagine. Indeed, indeed. How, how difficult is it to choose? Because there are many brands, many interesting brands with many interesting, let's say, models in that group. Well, yes, there are many brands. Uh, today, I'm driving a city car. Uh, they are very nice DS, I would say, electric. <laughs> I've tried and... <laughs> And I'm, I'm looking forward to getting one. Uh, there is a plethora of vehicles at Stellantis today available that we're talking about. I think 13 name plates are fully electrified. So uh, there's, a, there's a really uh, big choice within, within our group. Uh, in, a, in essence, um, it is the vehicle. It is the service you provide with the vehicle. It is the availability of an inf charging infrastructure. All of that within the Stellantis group is ready uh, and available today for our customers. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you for your insightful presentation and a lot of success also in the near future. Thank you once again, Mr. Carelli. Bye-bye.